Hi everyone, welcome, welcome. Hi, uh, today I would like to, to talk about challenges of saving money. Uh, and I'm joined by a friend who I will be chatting with. And also, I hope you can engage from where you are. I will be making my kitamba. <laughs> I started, uh, is this crocheting or knitting? I forgot again. Knitting. I started knitting. These are, I usually confuse between knitting and crocheting. But I started it at some point. I did very well with the down here. But then uh, with time, it became a bit loose. I think I became lazy. So I would like to remove up to somewhere here so that I can continue making it uh, neatly. And I'm joined by my friend who also knits. Uh, she's called Nekesa. So she will also be knitting as we share challenges of saving money. Hi, healthy child here. Thank you for coming. Thank you. So we are having a discussion on um, the challenges that we go through while saving money. Uh, in my channel, I keep encouraging people to save money. Uh, and, and people would say that we wish we can save. And sometimes people are saying, you know, you keep telling us to save money, but where is that money? We don't have that money to save. We would want to save, but the money is not there. So today I would want to hear the more challenges that people are going through. And they, if there is any uh, advice I can give, I would be happy to do that. I'm not a financial expert, but I share from experience and how I've been able to save money in, you know, um, as an employed uh, person, uh, I know other people are not employed and so they're not able to save, but those are the challenges I want to hear so that I can also give them ideas because I used to save even when I was not employed. However little it was, I was saving. And so I'm looking forward to hearing the challenges. Bring them on. I will tell you, what are some of those challenges we have experienced? <laughs> so I'll be removing I'll be removing these ones as we continue with the chat. How do you, oh, welcome Nekesa. So I have so a much. small sister here who is 12 years younger than me. By the way, I needed just to mention that. <laughs> so I realized, yes, she's a small sister. I we have a different age difference of 12 years. Imagine. Imagine. I have come. I also want to do my crocheting as she does her knitting. And tell us tell us what you're knitting <laughs> and how you do it. Yeah. So I wanted to make it's called an arm warmer. It's like just for the arms and here around the neck and not for the whole body. So this is how I start. So it will be this way. Now for the hand, this one, then the other one. Then I'll make this other part. And it's easy, but it takes also some patience. It doesn't just happen that, that fast. It takes time also. Hi, Esther Chronicles. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. We are here with my co-host. <laughs> in fact, I'm in her house. I came to visit her. She, we've never met uh, physically. We've been uh, chatting online. Uh, she's a friend from Kenya. I mean, the sister is a friend, but I've never met her. So I decided to come over and we decided to do this uh, conversation of uh, some knitting and crocheting uh, uh, exercise. Mm -hmm. I did this long time ago, so I hope I remember how to do it. And the conversation is on challenges of saving money. And uh, I had reached out and asked all of you to share your challenges. I'll be reading and seeing how we can uh, continue conversing. And so this is from Eldi Charlie, and she says that um, it's always easy to save money. When I just started my first job, I was living with my parents. So she's she's saying that it's been easy for her to save money. So not very challenging, like many people would say. And thank you for that, Eldi um, Talia. And she continues to say that when she moved to Europe, um, she's now she's noticed she's started noticing that people have difficulty in saving money. 
Yeah, yeah, which is true, by the way. I've lived in Europe as well. I lived in Europe, uh, in UK, for one year and uh, three months. And uh, my experience is that people, people spend a lot. I, I don't know whether I would say it's expensive because Nairobi City is also very expensive, but people spend a lot. You will go into a mall like uh, Primax, which is a shopping uh, mall. So many people inside and people are shopping and shopping and shopping, spending so much money. So I think that also uh, is a challenge when it comes to saving money, because if you spend more, then uh, saving becomes a, a, a big challenge. So like I, I really tried to, to save while I was there. So we were being supported by, um, it's called Rotary International, but uh, I tried to just live within my means, in fact, under my means so that I can come back with some little money, which I did. I came back with some money and together with my husband, we topped up the money that I came back with and we bought uh, a better car than what we had, which is facilitating us moving around from one point to another. And what has been your challenge of saving <laughs> money is you do your knitting. I've had also some challenges of which Mimi Kama, oh, sorry. As a young a young person, as a young uh, lady, I want to look awesome. So I want to buy things, buy good dresses, buy good shoes so that I, I look good. And that has been a challenge because all the money I can get from crocheting, I crochet and sell different kinds of things or products so when i get this money sometimes or the first time that i had started this small business mm -hmm. i used to buy things i wanted to eat well <laughs> i wanted to Young people. just feel good <laughs> so i could go somewhere and just eat without thinking of saving without thinking of how much money i have then i would go some place and just buy a good dress something awesome and that way I wasted a lot of money but right now for me I've had some good ways of saving little the, from the little I get and it has been awesome mm. yeah and Stanley saying hi hi hey Tali. thank you for joining us Jessica is saying hi and also Esther hi hi Jessica her. Esther also hi <laughs> thank you so much for coming around so you've had the challenges of young people. Um, I had mentioned that she's 12 years younger than me. So mm -hmm. we have a huge, huge, huge age gap. Yeah. She's the age of my last born sister. And so, yeah, th that's something I've also seen. And it's something I usually talk on my YouTube channel because I talk about simple living. And under simple living, I also encourage people to live within their means, sim live simple lives and declutter their lives. Mm -hmm. And in the space of decluttering, I am encouraging people to live with less items you know you don't need 10 dresses you can comfortably survive with five dresses or even seven dresses if need be if you wear dresses every other day because you i mean monday tuesday you can wear one dress each day unless you are a celeb who needs to change after two hours or after three hours or you need to be seen with you know this type of cloth or that, that other one a uh, fashionista you need to wear the latest clothes in the market this one I've worn it so many times, and I'm, in my videos you'll see me with the similar similar clothes. I have very few clothes in my wardrobe, and it's very intentional because I want to live a simple life. I don't want to waste money because by buying that extra dress, when you get that money, you are wasting money. That money you would have saved. Mm -hmm. And so I'm glad when she's mentioning about as young people, which is too it's a challenge they go through. You are a young person, you want to be seen to be wearing the latest you know uh top in the in the in in the fashion uh, world you want to be seen wearing the latest jeans and so that you can match your friends I, I i feel them i feel that bit but i still encourage them not to be pressured by the world not to yield to the peer pressure and instead save that little man if she makes 500 for example five like or um $10 for this, for example, if she makes $10 when she finishes, you said you're making what? An arm warmer. Yeah, mm -hmm. for the arm. For the whole arm, um, for the whole From here to here. hand. Yes, for this side and the other side, then kuna, something that will be here what will for be? the neck. Nothing. Interesting. <laughs> I would want to see this it's product. For, the, for warming the hands. So like this? Yes, for the hands alone, uh -huh. this side and the other side, then. Uh -huh. On the neck 
something just uh, so yeah you should be wearing something else yes Oh wow, interesting. <laughs> interesting. I would I will I will tell her to make one for me so that I can also promote her. Ching ching because <laughs> yeah, because I mean this is how you promote young people and now by promoting her, okay, I will not say where that money should go, but it should not buy a dress. <laughs> it won't. <laughs> it should not buy the latest dress in the city. No. It should go to savings. Yeah. So, do you want to share what happened today, today morning when I came and I don't want to dictate where that gift goes, <laughs> but it will not go to wasting. So, guys, today was the first, the very first time we met with Regina. Uh, we met online. I just saw her videos and we started chatting the, here and there, then on WhatsApp, then we started calling each other. And oh, most of the time, she's done calling me. <laughs> and we told I need help. <laughs> and we talk and we just, I, I just learned a lot from her channel. I started decluttering. My God, I have a lot of clothes, like a lot, a lot. I have clothes here in the city. There are too many until I, sometimes I don't know even what to wear. I have a lot. Then I can just tell you I don't have anything to wear because there are just too many. Then in the village at home, I also have like a whole suitcase of clothes. Oh my gosh. When I go there, I don't carry anything. I don't carry any dress or anything to wear because what I'm wearing is what I'll wear from here to there then the other side I have a lot when I come back I don't carry any clothes so you can imagine how many clothes I have there are so many so I've learned about decluttering and it has been awesome so today today has been the day that we met I'm so happy I was so happy <laughs> you can't even tell from this face I was super happy when I saw her She's tiny. She's so tiny that me. I'm surprised. Like when I see her videos, she looks like bigger. But when I saw her in person, I didn't even like accept what I was seeing because okay, this camera tells us very different things from the real things. Yeah. After a meeting, we had like a small game. Yeah. And hey, it was so surprising to me. She brought me some big yarns. Mm -hmm. You see the one that I'm using? It is so small. Yeah. I've never bought like the big ones. It's this big. This big. Ay, ay, ay. As in, it's so awesome and it's so soft. It's so fluffy. I can't even explain how good it is. I got some gifts. I got some money. Hey, that money is no going wasting. into saving. My, my saving box. Yeah. My... All of it, all of it, because there is no other place that I could get that money. And now that I have it, and me as a young person, I don't have any responsibilities right now, mm. except taking care of myself, eating well, sleeping well, yeah. and going out and all that. But for the money that I got today, all of it is going inside my saving box. I'm so happy. Yeah. And it was so awesome to meet her. She has a very good personality. I loved her from her videos. Seeing yeah. her was just something else <laughs> on the other level. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Nekesa. So thank you. Thank you for sharing that. So I mean, when you visit someone and you know what they love, you the best gift you can give them is that what they love. So I knew she would love these uh, Uzis. And so I had awesome. some that I bought. Uh, it was not in the UK. It was just out there abroad yeah. somewhere. I was traveling and I bought they some. Feel it again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I said, let me drop that for her. And because we were going to be talking about saving money, I just uh, came with some little money for her and I had not told her where, what she's supposed to do with it. Uh, but I'm glad now she's taken it up and she's going to save because that's the topic for today. And we are talking about saving. Guys, share with us. Jessica, how are you saving? Thank you so much, Esther and Eldi Talie, Adrian, Ryan, Jessica. We are so grateful that you can join us and you can join this discussion. Share with us challenges of saving money. What are some of those challenges? Bill Brolek, thank you so much for coming in. We are talking about challenges of saving money. What are some of those challenges you experience while saving money? She just shared some of the challenges as a young person. She's 12 years younger than me. You won't know how old I am. I am really <laughs> old. I am 37 years. So that means she's 25 years. Yeah. And that's the age of my last born sister. We are six girls from our home. 
And so she shares challenges that I can relate to from my sister's experience. Get little money. You want to wear the latest shoe in the market, you know? <laughs> By now she's learning to save. She's learning to declutter through yeah. my, I share about decluttering and simple living. She's learning and now she's minimizing her purchasing so that she can save more and, uh, you know, put that money into investment or better use. So let's hear your challenges of saving, Jessica. Jessica, do you buy a lot of uh, snacks while uh, leaving the office and so all your money goes to buying snacks? Let us know. And Thank this is so this is what... Uh, it, it's long, by the way. This is what I had started making. Um, it, it's a long one. I wanted... Like, you can use it. You can cover yourself when you sit on the couch or something. I th the first ones did very well. I did very well. But then I became lazy. <laughs> Here you can see the spacing, it became very loose. The hands, yeah. hands refused to work. The so I want to remove, remove up to somewhere here. That's why I came with it. Uh, because I have the expert here, she can also guide and help my hands to sort of come back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I'll be removing this as we continue discussing. So Jessica has said something. Jessica is saying that your circle lessons really inspired me. I increased my monthly saving instantly. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jessica, for sharing that. It really, it, it touches my heart that uh, whatever I'm sharing with is helping one or two people out there. So I had this series that I was, I think I did it with my husband. And um, mm -hmm. uh, so we did a few um, circles. Those who are not from Kenya, circle is a cooperation, a cooperative society where people come together and uh, put money into that circle, into that cooperative system. And at the end of the year, they are given dividends because they become shareholders in that uh, cooperation, in that cooperative society. They become shareholders. And so you get um, a dividend at the end of the year. You can as well borrow if you want a loan. You get a loan at a cheaper rate uh, compared with the banks. Um, but my encouragement and why I was talking about circle uh, a lot, it's because I want to encourage people to save in circle, not to get into circle. Of course, if you want to take a loan, it's okay, but not to get into the circle with the idea of getting loans. Um, not fun of loans, but if, it, if there is need and I have to take it, then I will take. But the idea for getting into circle, for saving money, because you put your money there and it's going to yield fruits for you at the end of the, at the, end of the year. You are not just putting your money in a bank somewhere where it's not yielding fruits, but in a circle, you get dividend. And dividends, the rate uh, range from uh, 8% to even 12%. So there is this uh, particular circle where I'm in, and it has given us even more opportunities. So when I go to get my dividends at the end of the year, they tell me, do you want to re reinvest your dividends? And if I say yes, they give me, if you invest, you reinvest all your dividends, we give you 10% of the amount. So it encourages you even to save more. So if anyone is looking for an opportunity to save for me, circles in Kenya have uh, sort of become the best uh, place to, for me for me to save. And that's, why, that's what uh, Jessica is talking about, that she really enjoyed the circle lesson and she increased her savings. Thank you for that. And Esther is talking about, um, we need to talk to keep talking about saving culture because there's a people in Africa, we don't really save. Hmm? We don't. We don't. <laughs> we don't. We don't. <laughs> what do we do? We eat. We have fun. What do we do? We, we always say that uh, we are doing this for today. Tomorrow, tomorrow, hey, tomorrow, tomorrow will sort, sort itself. itself. So we don't really save because we are always thinking about right now. We want to eat good food. We want to go to good places and take pictures and show people that we have. But we forget about tomorrow, of which people as always say that tomorrow will just take care of itself. So saving is not uh, in our culture as mm. Africans. Mm. Yeah. And now what happens uh, without that saving culture, or rather what I've seen where we spend our money, we are, we are very social beings, which is a good thing. Eh? In Africa, <laughs> hey, you got, getting stress. Of course, I know there's mental health, but uh, it's very rare to get stress in Africa. Mm -hmm. We have a community, uh, you know, a society of people ready to support you. So we are always going for weddings. We are always going for chama meetings. Chama is like good circles now where people go and meet and have fun and take tea. 
it's good thing to meet, have fun, but in your calculations, your income, have some uh, saving uh, money, some money that is going towards saving, while uh, the rest is going towards having that fun. Because the near my Africans, you cannot tell them not to get out and hang out and have fun. That's that's in us. We are very social and it's a good thing. So yeah, we need to, that culture of saving, Esther, you are right. And this guy is saying, uh, I don't do snacks. I do meat and it is true. <laughs> <laughs> so Jessica is a colleague by the way we work together and it is true Jessica loves meat Jessica eats meat from Monday to Sunday like all our money will go into buying meat <laughs> <laughs> by the way Jessica come to think about it maybe you can um, you can buy a freezer and then uh, you buy a wool goat I'm serious about it. <laughs> this is an idea. This is a way of saving money because that buying small, small from the butcher, it's expensive, it's expensive at the end of the, the day. So if you're buying meat or goat or you are, you are buying chicken, like when you go to the village, if you come, come to my village, you buy goat very cheaply. So then you, you put it in a freezer and then you'll be cutting there. You cut it into small pieces and then put it in a freezer. Because I mean, I know you, you eat meat a lot. So maybe that's that's an idea you can, and that way you'll save money. So that's just an idea you can consider, Jessica. <laughs> Every time year, Sarko sounds like a good idea. Yeah, it, for me, it has worked for me. And it's through Sarko savings because I've been saving there. But uh, I was able to, I did a video that I bought uh, another house and it's through that, those monies. I went to one of my circles and said, I want my money back. And to get your money back, you just need to alert them. And in 60 days, you have your money back. The, you invest, the one that you put on the circle together with the dividends, like what it has yielded and what it has given birth to, you get all the money. And that's what helped me uh, to buy the house that I am buying. Abiba Galgalo, thank you so much for joining. I see you. Sela Kingoro, we see you. Efua Kitchen, I see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for joining, guys. We are talking here with my friend, my small sister. As we do knitting and crocheting, she really loves, this is what she does, and she makes money from it. Yeah. So if you are here and you are able to support her, please do. Can you mention your YouTube channel, the one that you do this and also the other one and what you do? I have two channels. My first channel is all about learning sign language. So if you want to learn sign language, you really don't need to go to school. You can start from here in my channel, not here. Free. Yeah, it's free. The only thing you need to do is buy, buy data. It's called Nekesa Wangili, just my name, Nekesa Wangili. That one is for learning sign language. The other one is for crocheting, meeting, no, crocheting, cooking, and other things, vlogs, anything and everything. You can find it when you search how to by Rachel. Rachel is R-A-C-H-E-L, Rachel. So those are my two channels that have really helped me. And you can also support the other one. You can sub on the other one, this the one. How to by Rachel, because it has it's where you do very this. few. Yes, I do this there. It has very few. Do you want to share again what, what is this you're doing? This one, I am making an arm warmer. It should be like, like arm this. Warmer. So it is this long. Sorry. Yeah. So it's to warm the arms. So it will be this long. Then. For the hands, this one and the other one, mm -hmm. then just for the neck to keep the neck warm also, have to make something like a neck warmer to attach to these ones. So there is nothing here you will sort yourself with whatever you are putting on. This yeah. is awesome for the people who don't want to put on, like who want to for to who want other people to see what they are putting on. Uh, so you don't need to freeze and shine. Yeah. All you need to do is shine, then keep warm with this thing oh it's awesome it's so warm thank you thank you for sharing yeah that's what she does so please uh subscribe to her youtube channel i will write it here it's how to how to buy rachel how rachel. to buy rachel Yo. yes that is her youtube channel where she does this sign language Nikesa Wangi. Uh -huh. Nikesa. I also know sign language. I have attended school for the day. That's nice. Those are her, uh, two YouTube channels. Please uh, subscribe to our channel. Thank you, Bill Bro Lake. You attended sign language. That's nice. That's nice. 
Thank you. Thank you for telling me that I'm impacting people. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. So please bring those challenges. What are some of the challenges that you're going through when you're trying to save money? What are they? What are they? What are the challenges? She shared the challenges. Do you want to share your challenges? <laughs> <laughs> no, we have we have many people in this house, so we're asking them their challenges. So please share with us your challenges of saving money. Um, we've heard from uh, Rachel, I uh, mean Nekesa, and she she's representing the young people. Again, she's 12 years younger than me. Yes. And so when she gets little money, she wants to go and buy the latest designer designer <laughs> jeans. Yeah? Please don't go. I see people are going. Don't go. Tell us your, your challenges. Tell us your challenges. We are here. We are here. We are here. What is another challenge that you experienced in a case in saving money? Or like now, a young person who is uh, not right right if you saw employed right mm -hmm. yeah so is it difficult like to save money when you're not employed mm -hmm. it really depends with what you're thinking or what you want mm -hmm. because when your focus is on buying good things and just looking nice for people then it will be so hard mm -hmm. that way i used to do that when i was <laughs> how i can't even say when i was young because <laughs> When I'm, <laughs> I am already young, so <laughs> yeah. I, before, like many years before, I used to do that. Yeah, the small I get, I just buy things. It it used to be hard, mm. just to be so hard. But when I I met Regina, it started uh, dawning to me that I really needed this money mm. because in the future I don't know what I'll be doing. I won't. I I'm not sure if I'll be employed because. I'm a sign language teacher, and teachers generally in Kenya, we are so many, and the schools are so few to be placed, a few also. So you find that someone has graduated, uh, he or she has gone to a certain school and got the skills, but the problem is TSC, that is a circle that's supposed to, uh, it's supposed to place you in different school, in different schools, has like placed other people and you can't get a position unless someone has retired or something has happened for them to be replaced by you, which is really hard. Mm. But for me, thinking of my future, <laughs> it has really helped me to save. Mm -hmm. And I've really done that. I've saved Congratulations. not so much, but I'm... I'm so happy for my self. congratulations because I've nice that. to see you, Nicola. Let me cut her short. Nice mm -hmm. to see you, Nicola. UGV Beauty. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Thank you so much. So this is Regina and this is Nekesa, and we are both from Kenya. We've never met before. This is the first time we are meeting physically. We've always talked online. We are friends mm -hmm. online. She supports my YouTube channel. I support her as well. Yeah. She's been like a mentor to me when it comes to YouTube because she's already monetized. And so we decided to come together. She loves knitting. So I decided to come over. I uh, brought her some uh, knitting uh, Uzis. Uh, I also came with something that had started um crocheting at some point but now it's taken a bad shape so i'm repairing it as we have a chat <laughs> and she'll also help me on how to do it better yeah. but uh, what we are discussing about is the uh, challenges of saving money uh she's a young person she's 12 years younger than me i'm 37 she's 25 she's the age of my last born sister and i just love her uh you know she gets out there She's not complaining that there are no jobs for young people because she's just graduated from the university and she doesn't have a job. And instead of complaining that there are no jobs and just sitting in the house and lazing there, she's doing something. She's on YouTube and she's already monetized. However little she may be making, she's monetized. And so kindly reach out to her. Nekesa Wankil is her YouTube channel uh, and subscribe and, you know, just, just support her however you can. And she has another YouTube channel where she shows you how to make this uh, neat and crochet some of these things she's making. Uh, you can also subscribe to that channel as well. It's called How To by Rachel. And through this, she's making some little money. You've heard that she's making this uh, for warming 
hams. Yes, you know, it will, ha- it will warm the hams and it will also be here on the neck and then your top or your blouse can be seen down here. So that's what we are, that's what uh, she is doing and I'm so happy for her. I am always excited when I see young people getting out there and doing things rather than complaining, sitting down and saying there are no jobs. Mm. Because I also remember when I was there, when I was young, okay, I'm not that old. I'm not that old. <laughs> when I was young, I used to do so much. I used to get out and do so much. So when I hear young people complaining there are no jobs and they're doing nothing, I really don't like it. So when I see someone who is doing something, I want to support them. I really want to support them. And that's why I came over so that we can have a chat um, and talk about saving money. She's shared the challenges that young people and especially her, she's gone through. She wants to buy every dress in this market. <laughs> I told In my YouTube channel, I talk about simple living. Mm-hmm. And I encourage people to declutter their clothes. Closets. Not only closets, but anything that you need to declutter. You need to declutter your mind so that you can be in the right mind if, even as you do what you are doing, even as you work, even as you bring up your family, you need to be in the right mind. So you don't only, you not only declutter your closet clothes or utensils or whatever you have in the house, but you also declutter your mind. You declutter your, sometimes I say declutter your friends. If they are not really friends, if they are friends who are making you misuse your money, waste your money, why do you need them? Even the Bible says that you walk with what? What does that verse say? You know, you be, like you become what you what you expose yourself to. Mm-hmm. If you walk with a thief and you continuously walking with thieves, you may become a thief in the process. Because what are, what what is this that you are sharing that is is common? And and uh, so I, I encourage people to to declutter their minds and also declutter friends. If they are not taking you to the right direction, just declutter them. You know. Yeah, in the case, I mean, uh, Nicola is saying it's so true. It's so true. So what have you declared since you started watching my YouTube channel? What no. have you declared? She hey. had millions and millions of hey. clothes. I've declared clothes. And I still have more. I should declutter again. I have declared clothes until I, I'm just asking myself where I, I bought all those. Why I bought all those clothes? Because most of them, I don't even put them on. They're just there for the show. I don't put them on. I don't use them. I have like those clothes that I really put on when Maybe I go somewhere. Day. When I am just in the house, I know these are the ones that I I put on. I've really decluttered my my clothes, and it has also helped. I've decluttered my phone too. My yes. phone has so many things. Yes, Nicola, you to need to declutter. declutter your closet. I wish I was <laughs> near you. Maybe I could get a white. Uh, I'm looking for a white shirt. I'm going to Mombasa to the beach. <laughs> So perhaps if I was near you, I would get some nice white mm-hmm. beach. You can get, uh, I have because a you come from Jamaica, no, by the I way. Nicola is from Jamaica. Yes. And in Jamaica, there are those nice beaches, right? Yes. Eh. Maybe you could get some nice things for a beach from you, Nicola. And she's saying she I, has I a have short. a white shirt that doesn't fit. It's small. Yes. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just refused giving it out because I love it. It's white and it's so cute. And I've not given it up, but I've grown so fat. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. tiny, but I didn't. I don't know what happened, but I've just grown so fat, and I think I've got someone who will give the show. Yeah, I just got a white shirt <laughs> right there, so I will be rocking it in Mombasa. Mombasa is the beach side in, in Kenya. That's where we go for holidays. I was there like uh, three weeks ago, and I'll be going back there. I'm on leave by the way currently, so. I have time to do a few things here and there and just have fun. So, yeah. Oh, she's from Jamaica. Nicola is from Jamaica, but she yeah. doesn't live there. Oh, where do you live, Nicola? I've always thought you and Sister J are from Jamaica, mm-hmm. right? Sister J can be an... Hey. UGV Beauty, what are some of the challenges that you've had in terms of uh, uh, saving money? What are the challenges? Do you purchase a lot? Do you spend a lot? Uh, do you overspend? Yeah, and then it becomes a challenge to saving or don't you have the money coming in so that you can save? What are some of the challenges? Let's hear them. Let's hear the challenges. Oh, she lives in touch. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Nice. That's in Europe, right? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, that's nice. That's good to know, Nicola. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. And thank you for being here with us. Oh, this is tiring. 
<laughs> you need to start moving the, the board. Oh, the oh, the one like yes. Oh. Oh, yeah. You need to go away to the be so hard. Oh, then I make like this. You have to make a okay for food. I am learning. Oh, I'm learning. I am learning. So this is what I had made. Um, but now I became lazy somewhere in the middle and it became loose. So I'm removing the bit that is loose so that now I can be back somewhere here and continue. It's uh, what is it called? It's not a scarf. What? This one you can cover yourself like in the house. Blanket. Yeah, a small blanket. You can cover yourself in the house or uh, <laughs> thank you so much, Nicola. <laughs> Or you can place on your seat. I love colors. <laughs> I come from a community that really, really love colors. So not, those, not just colors, but bright colors. <laughs> <laughs> those who are from Kenya, I am a Kamba. <laughs> and we love bright colors. So, yeah. Yeah, she's a good teacher, this one. She's a good teacher in terms of sign language, but also... Uh, she's, very, she's a calm person. She's not hyper, hyper like myself. <laughs> I'm hyper, but not close to her. Hey, she's she's there on top. I am somewhere here. Am I hyper? But I, I love life. I love life. I live life. So challenges, challenges, challenges of saving money. Challenges of saving money. For me, um, as I had shared earlier, uh, and I had shared another video on families. Sometimes... And it's not bad to support families. Sometimes you save, save, save towards something. And then something comes up from our families. It could be parents, it could be sisters, it could be whoever in our family. And then now you have to use that money um, on that. Okay, I don't know whether it's a challenge or it's circumstances and things that happen to us. And why are we using this on our families? I don't want to say because they did not plan themselves, but uh, because of where we find ourselves. Sometimes some of us find ourselves in uh, families that uh, have no problem when it comes to finances and they can sort themselves. But there are those other times when we have to support them, you know, to come from the situation that they are in. And then uh, sometimes you find yourself, you are maybe 20 sisters or 20 siblings, but it's only um, two or three or even you are the only one who is willing to come on board and do these things. So it drains you in terms of uh, your finances in terms of your savings. So it really eats into your savings. So if things keep on coming on every other time, so then you realize you have no, you eat on your savings, you have no savings. So that really, it's a challenge for me. Uh, but but I, anyway, so for me, what I have learned and how I evade it is I plan for it. I plan for eventualities. When I'm doing my plan, I don't only plan for, this is for uh, social activities, this is for saving, this is for, I also plan for, uh, those are the eventualities that come from my family. So I have a plan for it. Mm -hmm. And that way, then I'm able to, to save. So my savings still continue saving. But before it used to disturb me, before I learned how to evade that one, to go around that one. That's me. I'll start saving for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When it comes to family, and maybe you have a joint activity for family, and everybody mm -hmm. is uh, required to support or to contribute something, so that you don't look like you, you never uh, contribute or you never support, mm -hmm. it's good to put, even if it's 100 at the end of the month, every, mm -hmm. every month aside. So when that time comes in, you also give your contribution. It helps, however small it is. Let me tell you, our siblings out there, however small it is, even if it's 200 Kenyan shillings you know, less than a dollar, it helps that you show the commitment and you show the, the family, the togetherness in a family that you are contributing these small things. It, 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 it helps. So for me, that, that, that's been part of the challenge, but I've learned how to evade it. And in terms of planning, uh, when you get your income at the end of the month, you know, she said that in Africa, we don't, we don't, we don't uh, save. And why we don't save, it's because we don't plan. So you get your check, your money comes in, your income comes in at the end of the month. And sometimes some people don't even pay rent direct to having fun. Let's go out. They go drinking. You start drinking from Monday because you got the money on Sunday. You start drinking on Monday until the end of the week. And then at the end of the week, it's when you're remembering, oh, I've not paid rent. If you're paying rent, then you start paying rent. Like saving, it's not part of your plan. 
What you need to do is come up with a plan. When I get my paycheck, this is what I am supposed to do. This is what I need to do. I need to pay rent if you are living in a rented house. And have I've learned a lot from uh, financial experts. As I, as I always said and I've always said, I'm not a financial expert, but I share from experience and I've learned from them. Uh, that, no, I think it can continue. I've learned from them that uh, you pay yourself first. Yeah. You know that one. Yes. You've heard about Better that. Eh? You pay yourself first. So someone would be wondering, how do I pay myself? Eh? This this money of mine I've had. How am I paying myself first? You pay yourself first. And paying yourself is putting that money, that amount that you budgeted for savings first. When the money comes in, let me tell you what happens to mine. Before I get to know, <coughs> uh, I go to the account to see my money. It's already, my savings are already taken by the circle and the bank that is taking them. So my salary comes in a bank. And when it comes in, the first thing that goes out is my savings. It's my savings. And I save um, I save a third of my income. And uh, my husband saves, um, I think, the reporter of his uh, salary. Yes. And that's why I've always shared and said that we live with one income because we really want to save and save and save. And so in salary, we've decided when your money comes in, this is the amount we are saving from your side. This is the amount we are saving from my side. And one thing why we are able to do that is because we work together. Our money, it may not be joint account, but it goes to the same uh we are very intentional in how we spend our money. We work it together. We are paying this together. We are paying the rent together. We are doing this together. And so with such kind of a plan, when your money comes in, you pay yourself first. Let your savings go in first before you start paying rent, before you start uh, paying debt. I mean, if I have a debt for a bank, I, I will pay it. I will not refuse to pay it. But uh, it is the last thing after I have paid myself. <laughs> Tell us how do you save. How do you usually say now that you're not getting monthly income? Yeah. Nicola, um, yeah, she's sharing the same. She's on the same the same uh, feeling that things happen. You save, you save, you save, then things happen. Those are beyond our control. Things happen beyond our control, and we're not able to, to, to control that. So we use up all our savings, but then that should not discourage us. We should go back to our savings and continue saving after that. Yeah. So how do you save uh, your little savings? How I have you... I have like two major ways of saving, whereby when I get any money, I when I get any money when I'm going to town to do some deliveries after making this and delivering them, whichever amount of coins that I have, mm -hmm. I put them in my coin box. I have like a small coin box here in Kenya. It's, it has a name, uh, Karimo, I mm -hmm. think so. That is the name. So, Karimo is a good name. Yes. So, sir, what we do is, <clears throat> what I do is, I take my coins and put them there. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, if I've got the money for, for the delivery, so if I get like a hundred shillings what i do is take 50 shillings and put it inside that that karimo the saving box if i've got the money cash and if it is through mpesa mpesa is uh an EU, electronic way of getting money it's used here in kenya mm. so if i get money using mpesa if someone pays me electronically i save half of it in mshwari Mshwari, but not Mshwari, the Mshwari, but Mshwari look saving, whereby you save money and oh, okay. they, ask, they ask if you, how long you want to save the money for, you say a year or six months or whatever amount of months you want to save the money for, then you have to put there your target mm. of the money you want to get when that time elapses. So... That's how I use, I save my money. I save half of the money I get from the deliveries. I get 100 bob, I save 50 shillings to Mshwari Look Saving. And it has really helped because you cannot withdraw. If I, I was saving just in Mpesa or Mpesa Look Saving, mm -hmm. uh, Mpesa Mshwari, then it would be so easy for me to just take the money and use it to do whatever I want. But in Look Savings, when you withdraw the money, this 
not everyone knows about the withdrawal of the money from log saving. <coughs> but uh, from the first time, we just knew that when we save, we'll have to wait until that time that you had set to elapse, then you get your money back. Because when the time elapses, they give you back the money plus small interest that oh, they that they did. add. Yes. So that's a good when, one. I've not heard about that, guys. Uh, those who are in Kenya, like Jessica, have you heard about uh, a log saving? I'm sure lock saving. I'm sure lock saving, where you can uh, save money. I think it's a good idea and should be encouraged, especially with our young people. Yeah. So if you withdraw the money, then it comes after 48 hours. Mm. So if you have something like if I have seen a good dress, I can't buy that good dress <laughs> at that time because I have to ask for the money to request for that money and it will come in 48 hours. So what you happens? Do you know what happens? Money. But you know what that happened? Mm -hmm. When you when you see a dress and you want to buy it and you don't have money there, you say, let me go home to look mm -hmm. for that money or let me wait for the 48 hours to lapse so that I can get the money. You will not come you back to buy that dress. Back you back know why? The, the whatever will have changed. Your priorities will have changed. Yes. At that moment, you just saw that dress. It's a nice, colorful dress. I love it. I love those colors. Oh my God, it will look good on me. I want it. I want it now. If you had the money cash cash there, you may buy that dress. But if you give yourself, not even a day, just give yourself some like three or four hours. I'm telling you, you will not come back to buy that dress. Yeah. You will have done your calculations. You will have even, oh, but I have another dress similar like that. Mm -hmm. But I that money I could use in this and that. You will not buy that dress. So I like this idea of lock saving the money. It's a good idea for those who are saving little, little money, I imagine. Yes. Yeah. Yes. If you're saving it little, like the one who save a lot, you like can also save a lot. It's you yeah? who is deciding because mm -hmm. they ask you how many months you want to save the, the money for, mm -hmm. then how much do you want to save uh, by the end of that month, mm -hmm. of those months, then you have to say what's your target. Yeah, mm -hmm. that you say the target, then you are asked how much money are you going to put right now. Mm -hmm. So you can put a hundred, but you can put 10,000. It is you who is deciding how much money you are putting wow. there. I, I really love it. And mm. it will discourage people from just spending handheld. It yeah. will discourage people. So, yeah, thank you so much for that idea. And Jessica, I hear you. I hear you about cooperation in families. So, if two cannot work, work together, <laughs> that's what even the Bible says. And um, I've been listening a lot about uh, couples and finances. And uh, there was this guy, he comes in our media in our um, mainstream media, I don't know, his name is Koldu, and he really talks about relationships and family. And he says that in a couple, a couple that is working together <clears throat> and is, you know, is connected, a couple that is connected, money is nothing. Like, uh, you know, having disagreements on money would be the last thing. Even if you have a joint account or you don't have a joint account, even if you, you buy tomatoes and this other one buys uh, whatever they buy in the house, like you've shared the roles, that doesn't matter. So long as you are in sync, you are cooperating and you're moving together. That will, Talking about money will not be an issue. Mm -hmm. It will just flow. Money, conflicts will be the last thing you will have in that relationship. And I, I honestly agree with him. I honestly agree with him. Where you cooperate, you're working together, you will... Uh, you, you will move together. You know, those investments you're making, you're making them for both of you, for your children, for your families. I mean, for your children, for yourselves. So you will move together. So money conflicts or issues about money will be the last conflicts that you will have. You can have other conflicts, but not on money. So I honestly agree with you on that one, that being in, in sync and, and, and being connected to your partner, it really helps. And so Jessica was saying that uh, most couples find it difficult to save because they are not open to each other financially. In Africa, especially women say, Pesa yangu ni yangu na yako ni yetu. So there has been that here where, where you're saying, Pesa yangu ni yangu. Like mostly women, women will say that their money is theirs. And then for the man, it's for the family. Which, um, I mean, people have different... Uh, ways of doing things, but from where I see it, if we are together and we are working together, we are a couple. It's our money. If I bring uh, $20, you bring $30, or you bring $10, I bring $20. It is our money. It is for us and for us to move forward, to better our lives. Why would I want to live in stress, surely, in this life? Just because I'm fighting over money. Like, really. Uh, for me, money conflicts should be the last thing... Uh, that I that should be the last conflict that I want to have. So 
And 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 I also say like if you are sharing your body with this person, if you if you are sharing your body with this person, what, what is, is money my... that you cannot share with them? <laughs> hmm? And it's for betterment of your family, it's for betterment of your lives. What is money really that you cannot share and 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 uh, and move together as a couple? So, yeah, Jessica, thank you for bringing that up. Nicola has gone. Nicola has gone. Okay. Yeah, she's going to work. All right. Thank you, Nicola. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate. Uh huh. Yeah. You are down. saying you are saying about uh, Mshari. You know that it exists, but you never knew about the lock saving. Yes, many people know that Mshari is there for loans. Yes. So people just go to Mshari and get loans and pay back, get loans, pay back. But there is that part where there is lock saving. You lock your savings, then you just decide for how long. Then you put the amount you want to save. And you can put every day even uh, 10 shillings, 20, 100, 10,000, whichever amount you want. But the good thing about it is you can't just withdraw it the same way you withdraw it from Mpesa mm -hmm. or a bank. It is that hard and good for you because when you don't just withdraw the money anytime then it means you will have to withdraw it when you really want it when you want to use it for something that is very very important another way of kind of saving is you i have decided not to have uh, the m banking whereby you link your phone or your mpesa to to your bank because anytime you want to take any money from your bank what you only need to do is go to your phone and say you want to withdraw a certain amount and mm. get the money from the bank. For me, I only use my... I have activated that like a, a week or two before because of the monetization. The YouTube wants to give you like... A, YouTube wants to give you... After you have been monetized, after you want to... After they, after they have sent you the pin, the AdSense pin, you are supposed to put like... A, Yes, they are supposed to put a certain amount in your bank to confirm that the information you've given to them, the bank information you've given to them is true. So that's why I've activated mine so that I can get the information whereby they tell me a certain amount of money has been deposited to your account. So I have to go to my AdSense account and put the amount that I have received, the exact amount. That's why I have, I have updated my SIM card to M banking. But before, I didn't want that because when I have my phone and I want any money from my bank account, I can just get it almost immediately. Because that way you'll get the money to buy whatever you want. You can misuse the money. But if you can't access your, your bank account using your phone, then the money will stay there. You will go to withdraw using your ATM card mm -hmm. if you really, really need that money. So that's a, that has been another way for saving for me. Amazing. Rachel, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you, Jessica. I love that example. So that's why I use it a lot of time. Rachel, we are talking about sharing. Um, we are sharing challenges of saving money. And she was sharing from a young person's perspective. I know you, Rachel, also. You are a young person. Uh, challenges that are there. But she also gave ideas on how young people can save money uh, through... Um, M Shwari. So it's not only M Shwari, it's not only for borrowing, it's also for saving money. And she shared about the log saving idea where you put your money. And so that's what we've been discussing. We are winding up this uh, discussion in uh, uh, six minutes' time. So we've been having this discussion while we are doing our crocheting and knitting. Nekesa is a fan of it. Is a fan of this. Uh, I used to do it. I never do it often, but now I'll start doing now that I have someone to help me. Bill Brolet, um, when you are monetized, are you and you are and you activate your YTPP? Are you getting money immediately, or you need to start working for the money? Uh, when you get monetized and you reach like ten percent of the amount you're supposed to get they send you the, the PIN. After approving the PIN, then you can put there your bank information. They do the sending and confirming your bank. Uh, if it's that information that you've given is true, 
then um, what will happen is you can't withdraw the money until it reaches a hundred dollars. So whichever country you are in, a hundred dollars you convert it to the money that uh, you can get to your uh, currency. For Kenya, it's ten thousand shillings. So until you get ten thousand shillings, you, you cannot withdraw the money from the uh, AdSense account. So I think you have to work for the money. You have to work for the money because people have to come and watch your videos in full. The ads, if people watch the ads, then it adds some money to your account. But they I heard also, watching the ads also, YouTube has a problem with that. Like, how long can I watch an ad or something like that? Uh -huh. When I was monitoring, was there was a time, mm. there was a time I was getting an ad of 40 minutes mm. and my video is 20 minutes so for that you can't watch an ad for 40 minutes and the video is only 20 minutes yeah. the ad is about songs it's about something else then your video is about teaching sign language so it can't be like it's not logic logical to watch a 40 minutes ad then you are just waiting to watch for a 20, 20 minute video so for other videos, if the video is like two minutes, three minutes, you can just watch it to the end. You can just watch it to the, to the end so that you can add some few coins to that person you are watching the video for. Yeah. So you can decide to skip because there is a certain amount that you must, uh, a certain a certain time that you must watch, which is five seconds. Yeah, the required, the required one. Yeah, so, so please, Bill Brolek, please, please subscribe to Nekesa's channel. She's a Nekesa. Let me type it for you. Nekesa. Ongili. And then the other YouTube channel, the one she shares about crocheting and knitting, is a how to. How to. buy Petro. She will get back definitely. She will yeah. definitely get back to you. I will uh, leave her with the Bill Brolek account. I know she has subscribed to Nicola. Yes. I know she has subscribed to who else was here. Yeah. So Health Bill Vitali. Health Vitali, I know yes. she has subscribed to. So Bill Brolek, I will give her your account. Yes. I will. Yeah, Trust so me. For for the monetization, you'll have to work for it. You have to encourage people to watch. Then another tip is don't make short videos. Because yeah, those video, sometimes long videos are hard to make. I oh, know you can God. spend two hours to make a video. Yeah, it will be worth it. But make sure you make a video which is like uh, eight eight minutes long or more. Because if you make a video which is so short, is it three? Then yes. is it three? Yes. Then up when you want to check. Yeah. Um, yeah. The next one. Yeah. Mm, yes. Then the next one. But there are three. Why yes. remove all of them at the same time? Yes. Or two? All of them. Or oh, you are moving all of them. Mm. So una pick to the back loop the kayak. Evil. Um, easy. Evil. 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 You're easy. Mm. Then you go with you all of them. Yeah, go. Ah, you fit sharp and one. I'm also learning music. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so there are many uh, stitches. Pick, uh -huh. You go through, you come with Oh, you don't have a new man. I will pick what is it, but then you back one only. It's called the back loop. Oh, back loop. 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 <laughs> back loop. <laughs> yeah. So, so you have to make longer videos. It will really help you because when you are monetized, when your video is four minutes, you can get only two ads at most. Two. So from the, the start, you'll get one, then at the end, another one. But those ones can be, uh, you can't dictate which uh, ads they will put because they will put like the non-skippable ones, then the ones that you can skip, but you can just get them from the start, uh, at the start and at the end. And sometimes you can just get it at the start only. But if your video is five, if eight minutes, <laughs> if, the video, if the video is eight minutes and more, then you will get um you'll get more ads they'll be at the beginning in the middle then at the end you can even get two at the middle and you can choose like you'll put at the middle you don't the play and the, all that the, the ads yes you are the one to decide where they will fall where they will be not the time 
Mm. But the blessing, like, you want it at the start, the middle, the end. Mm. But you can't say at this minute you want it. Mm. YouTube is one that decides when to put the ads. Mm. But if you have a four-minute video and less, then it will just, even five, five or less, then they will just place for you. Mm. And it will not come at the, as in, in the middle, it will come at the start and the end only. And sometimes you can just get one. So longer videos are very good. If you're not yet monetized, just do that. Put more longer videos. They will be so helpful. Then when someone watches your video when it is very long, uh, they can watch half, half of it, like let's say 10 minute video. Half of it, it will be five minutes. You'll get five minutes. If a video is three minutes, then someone watches half of it. Then it will be just one minute and 30 seconds. But most people finish minutes. short videos. People will finish. They finish short videos, but mm. if they come to YouTube doing the analytics, then that amount of uh, the average of mm. someone like twenty people watching your three minutes video in full and ten people watching it in half, mm. the average will always come down. Oh, but I if you have that. like a ten that. minute mm. video and many people watch it in half, and also many people watch it, or even few watch it in full. Then, when they do the analytics, the average, the video will get more views and oh. more watch time. The watch time is what we are, we are searching, looking so for. Mm-hmm. It's good if your video is slow. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. We had uh, wanted to do this for one hour, and I can see the one hour is just clicked in. Mm-hmm. And uh, just to wind up, we're, um, we're talking about challenges of saving money, and we've really talked uh, quite uh, some of them. Mm-hmm. But uh, a final shot from me, um, but before I give my final shot, let me ask Nekesa to, <laughs> if she has any final shot in terms of uh, saving money, anything you would want to say as we conclude. Yeah, we should not even, we should not talk about, uh, we should not use the statement Mm -hmm. Uh, tomorrow will sort itself because if we make it to live tomorrow, then we don't get a job, we don't get any way, any any opportunity to get any money, then what will happen to us? For me, I always do this work, I crochet, I sell, yes, but it's not every day that I sell. It's not every month that I get good money. So if I sell today, then tomorrow I don't get clients, then it will be so good for me to use the money that I got yesterday. So saving is a very awesome thing. It will really help you. Always think about tomorrow because it will sort itself, itself yes, if you do something about it. So keep saving. Use bakery more in Kenya. If you're here in Kenya, use bakery more. You can save five bob, even one bob. It's a lot. Mm. Then use the actually look saving if you can. And just try, 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 try so hard to save, even if it is little, little it yeah. will help. Thank you, thank you yeah. for that. There's a question for you from uh, Bill Prolek. Uh, he's asking, um, please, what can cause watch hours to be reduced? Reduction. Yeah. And sometimes you watch and then uh, he finds they are less. Does YouTube do that? I'm not sure about that. Mm. Uh, I've only had one experience where my friend deleted, not deleted, deleted. my friend uh, changed the privacy of the video to private from so public like because, because she had like their own, yeah. <laughs> she had uh, her own reasons for that. And that way, the hours for that, for that this specific yeah. video was removed from the whole thing. But I'm not sure if YouTube can, can just reduce your video, your hours. But because the, how they don't they don't like uh moni- they don't monitor your channel if you are not yet re- if you are not yet monetized. monetized. If you are monetized they are on your back. They but they do they they are sometimes they remove subs there are sometimes they remove subs, subs well, on at all. Even uh, what hours? Me, I don't know, but I think that sometimes they reduce. They for the hours, ah, uh, for the, for the subs, subs they do because when someone comes to your channel and they just uh sub and for go, sub, uh, without then watching. without watching, then YouTube will will know that this person just came for this only. So they remove you within some few hours after doing their own thing. But about the hours reducing, I'm not so sure about it. Okay. Maybe I do some research, but. 
Yeah, for the sure. subs, they do re- they do remove other people because of the sub for sub thing. Okay. Yeah. Bill Brolek, hope you are answered. And from me, as we close up the discussion on challenges of saving money, I would encourage people to plan. Plan, plan, plan. And another thing is to automate. Automating meaning if you are getting your income through a bank or through um, a circle or whatever, when uh, that money is coming in, before it reaches you, before it reaches your hands, before it reaches your pockets, automate your savings. Let your savings be cut directly when the money is in the bank. Let them go to the savings. If they're going to a circle like you in Kenya or whatever place that you are saving, whether it's a a savings account, a fixed savings account that you've opened, let your money go directly there before it reaches your pocket so that it doesn't tempt you to use it. Mm. Because when you have loose money or you have money in the, I mean, uh, with you, you may be tempted to use it instead of saving. And then another thing is when the money remains at the end of, uh, for example, at the end of the month, if you work monthly, not weekly or, or, or bi-weekly, when it remains, you are to use $20 and you have only used $15. Please, please, the remaining $5, just go and save them. Take them to your savings account. Don't misuse it. Don't say now it's time to parry, parry, parry. <laughs> save it. Thank you so much for joining. We've had an awesome, awesome conversation and we're excited that we could chat with you. Uh, thank you for joining us. Remember to subscribe to our two channels. Yeah, and uh, when you have your life as well, let us know. We'll join and have a, an awesome conversation. It's a goodbye from us. Cheers. Bye. Yes, I was.